So we saw the results of the Sankirtan yesterday. Today we had the first rain of the year. Rebo! Not very long, but uh, something which cooled down the planet a bit. So that's the result of Sankirtan. Anad Bhavati Bhutani Parchanyat Anasambhava. Right? By all living entities subsist on food grains, and grains are produced by rain. And rain is born of sacrifice. And sacrifice is our prescribed duty. So, yesterday we were doing sacrifice. The yagya, the sankirtan yagya. That was our sacrifice. And the result was today we got some rain. And of course today is the auspicious Ekadasi day, which is very dear to Lord Krishna. So we encourage devotees always observe Ekadasi by increasing your hearing and chanting. It means come to temple. We always encourage the devotees, as Jesus Maharaj was saying, festivals. Very important, very enthusing. I see the devotees here also enlivened, coming here for festivals. It's very nice to come together, be with the devotees. So every Ekadasi now, temples and most temples around the world, they celebrate the Ekadasi. I know in Bangkok we have a big program every Ekadasi. Devotees come, even if it's a working day, they'll come in the evening and they'll have several hundred devotees there chanting and hearing. So that's the real business of, of the Kharasi, to increase our hearing and chanting. Because by hearing and chanting, then we get remembrance of Krishna. When we want to remember Krishna, we have to hear, first of all. Hear and then we chant, and then naturally the remembrance of Krishna will come about. So this is the real purpose behind the Karasi. Prabhupada encouraged devotees always. He liked us to do more chanting. And the Karasi, he, Prabhupada always wanted us to chant 25 rounds every day on the Karasi, on the Karasi day. We should do more chanting. And also hearing. We had very fortunate today. We had the opportunity to hear this afternoon. We had Bhagavatam class this morning also, so we're having more hearing and chanting will be going on also, Arti, in the evening, Arti, have another program in the evening, maybe, a little while. So this way we, we're observing the Ekadasi nicely, pleasing to Krishna. So. How is the schedule? What time does Maharaj have to go? Yeah. Okay. We have Prasadam ready for all the devotees? Yeah. Okay. So we invite all the devotees to take some Kikarasi Prasadam, simple Prasadam. Already many devotees have gone back, of course. Bangkok devotees left last night before Mangalarti because the Mai devotees left. And then uh, after the morning program, then Malaysia devotees, they left. And some devotees are leaving this evening, right? Yes. No? <laughs> we will show you managing, taking a few devotees that are leaving for China tonight. They have a flight tonight. And other devotees will be here for crabby devotees. They're, they're still here. Yeah, tonight. Going back tonight. Yeah. Okay. Crabby. Maharaj didn't go to crabby yet. It's a near. It's about three hours from here. It's a, also it's a it's an international airport. <laughs> <laughs> Get private flights. So. 
Krabi, we have a Govinda restaurant there. Programs are going on in the restaurant. It's smaller than Phuket, but still it's very well known and visited by a lot of people from different countries. So, in the future we'll try to arrange programs also there in Krabi, take devotees to visit other places. Actually, Rajasuya Prabhu wanted us to come there to Krabi. He was thinking we could go today. <laughs> but today being Ikarasi, we had the program here. And also the devotees already booked the hotels, so they couldn't just go off and leave everything. Because to go there, we'd stay the night, come back the next, you know. We, so there's not really enough time. The devotees are just here for a short visit. But in the future, we hope we can organize more like that. We can visit other places and see the, the preaching, how our preaching is going on in this, this part of the world. And it's inspiring for the local devotees. Usually they see only Chinese devotees, Chinese tourists, and they don't they don't think they, they could ever be devotees, so they're very happy to see Chinese devotees chanting and dancing. It's encouraging for them. They think that if Chinese can become devotees, then certainly I should also. Right? <laughs> if I'm born in a Hindu family, Nepali family, whatever, and I see them chanting Hare Krishna, and I'm not chanting Hare Krishna, it's not very good. Right? <laughs> So you have to learn, you have to learn from the, the Chinese devotees. <laughs> Just like Prabhupada brought the Westerners to India, right? He brought the Westerners to India to teach the, West, the people in India how to chant. There was no Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness was not very well known or very popular until Prabhupada brought the Western devotees there. So now the Russian, with the help of the Russian devotees and the Chinese devotees and everything, so we're encouraging the people here who are here in Phuket, the Burma people, right? People from Myanmar, China, and all that. That you know, don't just be here for business. Be here for Krishna consciousness. Take up Krishna consciousness. It's very important. So make good use of this temple. You should come regularly, you know. We need devotees. We need people to do seva. It's very important. We're short of people. This one, one man is doing practically everything on his own. So he needs help. There's a lot of seva to be done. You come and help to do the different services. It's not a waste of time. It's very purifying. You clean your heart. We were hearing about the Anartha Saga, right? Yes. The ocean of Anartha, so you can get rid of, you can burn these Anarthas up by service. You come here and do some service. So, of course, it's, it's a bit, you may say it's a bit far from Patong. How long it takes to come from Patong? 20 minutes on the motor. You know, in China, we have devotees in Shanghai and Beijing, and they travel three hours to go and associate with devotees. Just to attend the association, they will travel for three hours in the public transport. And you can't come for, you can't take 20 minutes to come on your motorbike to come to temple. It's not very good. So, we encourage you, you know, please take this very seriously. You come and help and do service at the temple. This is your temple, right? We built this temple for you. So you have to please take advantage, make it a success. And if you can come, then send your children here to do something. Young people, let the, we saw yesterday the youth Last night the youth came and they did wonderful, cleaning up everything and tidying everything. Young man, 
people who were studying in Bangkok University and so on, they came and they did a lot of service, very nice. So we saw the youth taking the band, becoming very active. It's also very encouraging. So sometimes the, the children have to show the parents what to do. In the middle, in the Middle East, it's like that. In the Middle East, the, the children become devotees. They get involved, and the children become so devoted that the parents also gradually come. Many people in the Middle East, they were not devotees in India. They came to the Middle East and became devotees. So also you people, you, many of you come from Burma, come from Machina and so on, to, and come from India. It's, it's a, you, you, you are not devotees there. It's much easier to be a devotee here than to go there. You go to the Indian temple, so many people, so many people, you go to Vrindavan, packed, can't move, you know, nobody will take care of you. You go to Mayapur, temple's full, chock a block. But here, you have a lot of opportunity, chanting, dancing, in association, opportunity. You will never get that opportunity in India to associate and to sit and be here in Maharaj and like that. You don't get that same opportunity so easily. So you're very fortunate here. So take advantage. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. We'd like to thank His Holiness.